everyone! So today we're going to look at how to set up a page setup that can then be applied across a number of different layouts. Now this is going to be really helpful when you need to eventually batch plot something and basically you're not quite sure if you have set all of the, the plotters to be the correct plotter or the plot styles to be the correct plot style, etc. So what we're going to do is in this test file, take all of these different layouts and make sure they get put on the same page setup before we go to batch plot. Let's get started. All right, so first things first, again, this is just a demo file, so it's a lot of empty layouts. I, did, I would recommend actually renaming your layouts instead of just doing these kind of automatic names. Um, but we're on one of the layouts. What we're gonna do is type page setup, enter. And as we can see, we have a lot of these here. But instead of clicking on any of these, what we're gonna do is press new. And this time I'm going to say, let's say AN A3 Mono is going to be the name of our page setup. So I'm going to say OK. And now it just opens up my page setup. And I'm going to make sure it's on a DWD to PDF. I'm going to make sure it's on my monochrome plot style because that's the one I like to use. And then make sure my page setup size is correct. So, perfect. And then make sure the scale is at one to one because you'll want to adjust the scale via the viewports, not via the plot scale. And okay. And basically, I've done that. I'm going to press close. And now, if I go to batch plot, I can see that if I click on the default page setup, I now have this option. So suddenly I can change all of these page setups really easily. And let's remove the model space. And so now what we've done is actually gone through changed all of the page setups for each individual layout to the properties that we set up on that one. And because we named that page setup something that we could remember and go back to later, it was there on the drop down menu. So we either have our default or the, the one that we've actually created. And now it would just be ready to go ahead and publish and create a uh, batch plot result from this file with a lot of different layouts. So that's how you can actually bulk change the pa page setup within your AutoCAD file, which can be really helpful when you have, you know, dozens of layouts in a particular file. So I hope that helps. If you liked that video, check these out and click to subscribe where you'll be the first to see new videos I release every Monday. Thanks for watching.